In the last lecture, we talked about these two equivalences, what are called De Morgan's laws. Now, we did it in the context of seeing how two statements can be equivalent to each other, but we actually did more than that. What we implicitly did was show what the negation of a conjunction or an and statement and the negation of, an, of a disjunction or an or statement look like. In other words, we saw how to simplify these two negations by eliminating the parentheses. So in this lecture, we're gonna look at two more of these negations, the, neg the negation of a negation and the negation of a conditional statement. So the negation of a negation or, or a double negative behaves exactly like I think you would expect if you go back to making an analogy between a negation and a negative sign. Like the analogy, right? Two negatives cancel each other out uh, our two negations do the same thing. Uh, the truth table for this is actually pretty straightforward, so I'm going to leave that as an exercise and move on to the the less intuitive of our two negotiate of our two negations. So I know we're interested in the negation of a conditional statement, but just bear with me. If we can show this equivalence first, we can get the negation we want much more quickly. All right, so the left hand side. Uh, really isn't very interesting. It's just a, a simple conditional statement, and we already know what the truth table for that looks like, so I won't make you sit through watching me fill it out again. Now, the right side, on the other hand, uh, we'll have to go through the process and work out. So we'll start with the standard two-variable truth table, right, then fill in the not p and Q columns. And finally, remember that an OR is only false when both of the two inputs are false. And that only happens here on the second row. So if the other three rows all have at least one T, they must all be true. And now you can see that the two final result columns are the same uh, for both statements. So they are in fact equivalent. Now we can get to the negation we actually wanted, the negation of a conditional statement. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the equivalence we saw on the last slide. This is equivalent to not, not P or Q. Now, stop and think about what I did there for a minute. I use the same kind of substitution that we would do with algebraic equations because these two statements are equivalent. I can use them interchangeably. And what we, he, what we have here on the right side is the negation of a disjunction. And we know how to simplify that, right? Using the Morgan's laws. And this is equivalent to not, not P and not Q. Okay, but we know from our double negative law that this not, not P is just P, and that gives me the equivalence what I, uh, that gives me the equivalence that I was looking for. The negation of, an, of a conditional statement is equivalent to P or not Q. Okay, so now we have four equivalences that tell us how to simplify logical statements by eliminating the parentheses. That's one of the same rules we use to tell if an algebraic expression has been simplified. So in the next lecture, we're gonna look at some more examples of how we can use these known equivalences to simplify complex logical statements.